Today we have a very special guest, Father James Harbert. He's with us from Kenya, a long way away. Let me tell you a little bit about who Father James is. He and I go back a few years when I was president of Hellenic College and Holy Cross, and we got to meet them. He has a liturgical translation specialist working with OCMC Liturgical Translation Program, which provides tools, training, and consultation to overseas mother language translators of liturgical texts. Throughout history, the Orthodox Church has prioritized translation of both the Bible and liturgical texts into the mother tongue of the faithful. Father James was raised in Kenya and has an academic background in translations and linguistics. Father, welcome. It's wonderful to see you again. Thank you, Father Chris. It's great to see you. Can you help our viewers understand the, the scope of this liturgical translation program for us? Sure. Um, there's, we can talk about scope in two ways. One way, um, the scope is the scope is every nation language under the sun. We, we, we sing in matins, we sang this morning, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. If we are to praise the Lord with our whole heart and our whole mind, we need to praise the Lord in words that make sense to us. And that means translating the worship of the Orthodox Church into every language. So that's the scope. Now, we're a team of three people, and um, we're, we're not quite equipped to uh, translate everything into all languages at this very moment. So right now we are beginning, um, we have a project in uh, the metropolis of Mexico with Spanish. And uh, I'm here in East Africa in Kenya to meet with bishops and with other um, stakeholders to gauge the interest in, the, in what we can bring as the liturgical translation team, bringing trusted and tried quality assurance methods to the translation of Orthodox worship into the hundreds of languages of East Africa. Father, you mentioned the Spanish liturgical program. Let's talk a little bit about that, the digital chant stand that many of us here in America are familiar with. Um, can you tell us the important work that you're doing now? Yes. Um, so the Spanish language digital chant stand, Liturgia Digital, is uh, the work of my colleague, Jesse Brando. Um, however, all of us in the translation team are supporting in different ways and contributing with one another. And it's based on the same technology that the digital chant stand of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese is based on, which allows us to, to take existing translations of worship and using reusable templates, uh, we can create websites or apps that automatically generate the, all the services for any day. Uh, right, I said all the services. Right now, Liturgia Digital is equipped to generate divine liturgy for every day of the year. And Jesse's working on developing the templates to increase that capacity to other divine services. What happened? Uh, this is... Go ahead, Father. Go ahead. Oh, I said there, it's the wonderful thing about this technology is when you click on the link, it looks so easy. And believe me, there's a lot of computer programming, a lot of coding, a lot of tweaking, a lot of discovering there's an error and spending days trying to track down the error to make it work. Um, this is, uh, Jesse's been working on this for over a year um, to make it possible for the Tohia Digital to go live. And tell us about AI. Does that enter into this subject at all? Does that assist you in any way? I know. Some of the terms, of course, are not that easily translated or even, uh, what's, what would be the word, not translated, but actually put into some sentences. Does that enter into it at all? Uh, if you're asking about AI in the sense of machine translation, um, machines can't translate poetry. Um, I've tried, I've, I've asked them to, and they just can't do it. They can't do it. The, yeah, we um, the worship of the Orthodox Church is is so much more than trying to find a one to one correspondence from one word to another word. Mm -hmm. You have to look at the biblical references and quotations. You have to look at the allusions to uh, to theological subjects and topics. 
And you have to put a lot of work into understanding the culture of the people whose language you're translating into, understanding the way they sing songs and tell stories so that you're translating in a way that makes sense to them. Um, th this is not something that machines can do. Well, I understand from reading your bio that you grew up in Kenya, is that true? That's right. How many years did you spend there? How, how old were you when you're in Kenya? Uh, we moved here when I was three and I left to start college when I was 18. My so goodness. I spent pretty much my entire childhood. Uh, my parents are Protestant missionaries and uh, we lived in a variety of different places in Kenya. Amazing, amazing. So Kenya is in your heart for sure. Uh, one final question. Oh, yes. uh, what are your hopes for your time in Kenya as it relates to the liturgical translation program? Well, we are here to uh, to assist the Orthodox churches in East Africa with developing their own digital chant stands, like the DCS of the GOA, or now Liturgia Digital for the metropolis of Mexico. Uh, of course, in East Africa, we'll be starting with Kiswahili as well as English and Greek, of course. Uh, but there are churches worshiping at this moment in dozens of languages across East Africa, Orthodox churches. And there are hundreds of languages in East Africa. So the, the scope of a digital chant stand for East Africa is um, several degrees more complex than anything that's been done yet. Uh, but there's a lot of interest. In fact, I was at liturgy this morning at a monastery in the remote hills. And um, for the hymns that we didn't have in the Kikuyu service books, we had a chanter who had his phone out and was using the digital chant stand of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese chanting hymns in English. We want those hymns to be there in Kikuyu and Kiswahili and every other language as well. So we're meeting with people. Um, we need to gather the texts that have already been translated. We need to make sure that the bishops actually want this and have them talk to us and talk to each other about how to proceed. Father, well, you're doing great work. Uh, we support OCMC, as you know, through the various programs and the missionaries that we speak to around the world. Father James, God bless you. Continue your great work. We're certainly with you. Thank you, Father Chris. It's wonderful to see you again.